I decided to try Googie Host after hearing that it offered completely free shared hosting. Honestly, the promise of getting things like spam protection, a website builder, email accounts, and even SSL for $0 sounded too good to pass up. And at first glance, it really does look like Googie Host is trying to provide value for people who are just starting out or don't want to invest much up front. When I dug in and tried to sign up though, I ran into problems immediately. Every time I tried creating a free account, I got an error message saying only one free account is allowed per customer, which would make sense, except I didn't have any account. I tried using a different email address, went incognito, even used a VPN just to be sure it wasn't tied to my IP. Same error every single time. So right out of the gate, I couldn't even access what they advertise. Still, I've seen other people manage to use the service, so I took some time to research more deeply and see what the actual experience is like for those who get past the signup issues. From what I've gathered, and this is backed up by quite a few real users, the free hosting might look generous, but there are a lot of hidden frustrations. The features list is impressive for a free service, unmetered bandwidth, free business email accounts, unlimited subdomains, a free website builder, and SSD storage, albeit only 1000 megabytes. You don't get a domain name with the free tier, but that's expected. What was refreshing is that Googie Host doesn't slap ads on your site, which many free hosts do. That said, the unlimited claims are definitely a stretch. Sure, you can add as many subdomains or FTP accounts as you want, but there are usage caps that aren't very transparent. One user shared that their entire site was deleted for allegedly exceeding indod limits, even though they were using less than 1% of their quota. Another had their site wiped because they didn't log into the admin panel for 45 days. In both cases, there were no prior warnings and everything was just gone. No backups, no recovery. There's also this weird situation with PHP. One guy mentioned spending hours trying to debug why his PHP page wouldn't load, only to find out later after repeated support attempts that Googie Host disabled PHP on the free plan for security reasons. But instead of showing an error, the server would redirect the page to Googie Host's homepage. That's a pretty terrible and misleading setup, especially if you're expecting to run anything dynamic like WordPress or basic contact forms. Support-wise, I found the service to be hit or miss. For paid users, they claim better support, but for free accounts, you're stuck with a forum and a contact form. I tested out the community forum by posting a question, but it never got approved. After 48 hours, it just sat there, invisible. That says a lot about how seriously they take free users. A few folks who upgraded to Googie Host's lifetime plans like the $25 or $50 one-time payment tiers ended up getting burned when their accounts were deleted without notice. They didn't even get a chance to back up their content. That's not just poor service, it borders on fraudulent. One reviewer said they lost all their sites overnight. No warning, no emails, nothing. I wanted to give Googie Host the benefit of the doubt because I love the idea of free accessible hosting for beginners. But after trying to use it myself and seeing how many users have had serious issues with uptime, account removals, and lack of support, I can't recommend it. If you're just looking to experiment or build something temporary, maybe it's worth checking out, but only if you're making regular backups and you're okay with the idea of everything disappearing without explanation. Personally, I've had a much better experience with Hostinger. It's not free, but it's extremely affordable and everything just works. The support is responsive, the uptime is reliable, and I never feel like my site's gonna vanish overnight. So while Googie Host looks great on paper, the actual experience is inconsistent and risky. You might get lucky with it, but I wouldn't bet anything important on it.